uh, start by adding in a plane for our background. Tap in and scale it up. So that it covers the whole camera. And now we are going to add in some lighting. And we're going to reset the cursor to world origin and then edit the pivot point to 3D cursor. Shift A and add in a light, area light, GEC and move it up. And let's make it 3 meters in size. And light disc shape. Now let's increase the value so we'll make it 500. Just to see what we're working with. Maybe put this to 5. Shift D, R X 45 degrees, and R C 90. R C 45, and then Shift D, R C 180. Now we've got our basic lighting setup. Now for our materials, I'm going to select the room structure and create a new material, call it whatever you want, structure, and just make it whatever color you want. I'm going to go with a light blue maybe, and let's increase the roughness to It's going to be a simple brown, light brown color. Call it wood. And that's fine. I'm going to reuse the wood material on, let's see. Desk. And we can make a duplicate by clicking here and making it make it a little bit darker. The shelf. Let's just put down. That's the red. Make a nice red color. And for the side table, I'm gonna go with the dark wood. And also the, the big shelf over there, the bookshelf. For this, Legs can be white too of the table. And let's move on to the flowers. The flower pot is going to be a
Dark brown maybe. And the leaves are going to be gonna have two colors. Let's create one, call it leaf one and make it like a bluish green. Make sure you actually pick the base color instead of the the surface color. I'll make it like a bluish green maybe. And then select the other one. And select the leaf, make a duplicate. And go for have a normal green. And then I'm gonna select this one and this one. And this one last and press Ctrl or L. And link materials. And same this control L link materials. Right. And now for the bed, let's make let's make the bed. Mattress is just gonna be like a tan color, maybe. Yeah, and the pillow is going to be white. So now we have everything with materials. Nothing too complicated, but let's select our background and assign the material to that, call it BG. And let's make it a top orange. And go to the world settings and change the color to maybe a dark blue. You get it some nice blue shadows. And make it a little bit darker. Like so. Now for the lights. Press this top one in the middle, and I'm going to set the color to be a nice bright blue one. And I think I'll move it down. Let's do a, a warmer color. And these two on the sides. Let's do. Maybe I like purple and a yeah, bluish color, blue, bluish green. It's really up to you what you decide to put as your color for the lights. It all depends on your style and what you like. And I'm actually gonna increase. Now we're going to go to the render setting, make sure it cycles. I'm gonna have 256 samples, probably more than enough. Let's do it for 128. And let's go to color management. I have it set on medium high contrast, contrast, and then I'm gonna use the curves. 
So just play around with these if you want some like a hue to it. You can see what's happening when I up the red levels. And it gives it a nice effect. But be careful not to go overboard. That's looking fine. And I'm going to let this render out. And I'm gonna come back for some... Output settings. I'm gonna crank this up to 200. Yeah, this image and I'm gonna do some post-processing when that is done all right our render is done and now we're gonna minimize this and we're going to go to the compositing tab and I'm going to press shift A and add in a viewer and put that in here so we can see our latest render now I'm going to plug in lens distortion get some This, I don't know if you can see it, but this adds like a grain effect. You can see it here is on. It's on. I kind of like it, so let's keep it. And dispersion, I always go like 0.05. Just a little bit, you can see around the edges, this gives this like distortion effect. And the next thing that I'm going to add is a glare node. Plug that in here and change it from streaks to fog glow. And let's size, put that up to 9. And let's crank this down to 0.5. See what that does. You can see here around the edges, it gives that nice bloom effect. And again, be careful with it by not going too overboard. Maybe 0.3 is gonna work. That's fine. And now we're gonna plug this back into the image. And we are going to go in here. And yeah, that's it. That's it for this tutorial. Um, I hope you like it and if you do, please leave me a like and consider subscribing. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer them. But yeah, make sure to save your image. Go to image, save as, and choose your destination. I always use RGBA and 16 bit color depth PNG. But yeah, save it and thanks for watching.